So you want to control your home from just about any web browser you can think of. Your tablet, your PC, your phone, your Mac, your smart TV, you name it. Just about any web browser that you can think of. Well, I'm about to show you how. Let's get to it. What's up guys, it's Drew from Taylor Tech. Today, this video is about how to control your home from a web browser. That's right, just about any web browser that you have, uh, your smartphone, your tablet, your PC. Right now I'm obviously on my PC, you can see on the screen, I have uh, this browser open and it's got um, some of my smart devices. This isn't all of them, this is just a quick example. See up here it says tablet quick view. This is what's displayed on my tablet upstairs in the hallway. So I can just click on any of these, turn them on and off. Bedroom fan, hallway light, so on and so forth. So in order to get this started, the very bare minimum you need is a SmartThings Hub. I did a video on this before. I will link the video in the description so you can get a basic idea of what you need to get started. Um, beyond the hub you just need a, a device. At least one device you can add to this. That one device could be your smartphone. Other than that you can add as many smart devices as you want to this. As you can see I have a few lights, uh, garage doors, media players here, a ceiling fan, and different modes within smart things. I'm not going to get into any of that right now but once you have your hub and uh, a few devices this is what you need to do. So go to actiontiles.com right now as you can see here Action Tiles available March 2017 it was just released it used to be called Smart Tiles this is a new release uh, as you can see up here it says Action Tiles is rolling out by invitation only throughout March so you'll need to join the email list to reserve. It'll probably only take you a few days to get the, the email back to you to reserve. Uh, it took me a couple weeks, but I did it uh, last month. So anyway, once you get your email, um, you'll go to something like this, the app login. You'll create your account. And there's a, a really good tutorial, actually, that uh, tells you what you need to do to get started. Once you get through the tutorial, uh, there was some help panels up here in this area. I got rid of it just because I already knew what I was doing at that point. The, what you saw here is a panel. That's what they're called. Here's my panels. I have uh, seven of these set up right now. These are just a few. You can make, I believe, as many as you want. I have one called weather that is kind of just an overview of different weather related things the time, uh, the forecast outside, the Doppler radar in the area. There's a few uh, pictures of Chicago, of near, nearby things, Mo uh, all the sensors in the house displaying their temperature. A few of those are off. It's definitely not 59 degrees, I don't think. But anyway, um, I, can, I can go to the hall tablet right here and display what I just saw here. I'll go back. So I'm going to walk through one of these real quick. This one I have set up tutorial. It's completely blank. So over here, the pencil icon. Just click on that. Click on... Oh, I'm sorry. First of all, you won't have any panels. So you'll click Add Panel down here. You'll name it Panel 8. This panel doesn't have any tile sets yet. So I'm going to go back. Now oh, Panel 8 shows up here. I'm going to go back to Tutorial click on the pencil, click on add tiles and this is where you can add different things. You can add a clock right off the bat go into the clock settings, you can change the size I'll do 2 by one We're just going to try to do this real quick so I don't take up too much time I want to put modes and routines in there smart home monitor and once you set up smart things on your phone you'll know what all that stuff is you can actually set different routines from the list too. So I'll throw in all lights off, bedtime, and good morning just for the heck of it. I'll also add 
few other things. I have these are all different switches I have. Some of them are actual physical switches, some of them are virtual switches. That's not important right now. So I'll go to the present sensor. I'll do a couple switches here. Um, I'll do a garage door control, a lamp, do my presence. Uh, there's a reason I have two of these. I'm not going to get into that now. But my garage door, uh, my my lamp, Ashton ceiling fan, Ashton's lamp, backdoor contact sensor. Just tells you if it's on or off. I'm just going to try to do a different bunch of different ones here. Do motion sensor with the temperature measurement. That's our bedroom. Um, cabinet lights. Those are RGBW for different colors. Kind of like a hue bulb if you've heard of that before. Hallway. To switch mailbox. This is a smart thing. Uh, smart things multi-purpose sensor on my mailbox. That's the only one of those I have. Uh, so I'll go ahead and click all those just so you have an idea of what that looks like within action tiles. Okay, I'll go down to the nest protect and nest uh, thermostat. Nest protect is a smart uh, smoke detector, carbon monoxide detector, uh, thermostat, I'll go ahead and throw in cooling, dual, and heating. And let's see, uh, the weather tile here, I'll go ahead and throw that in too. This is just something that automatically comes in with smart things, I believe. Anyway, I'll go ahead and hit save. So now it brings up all these devices that I just added within each tile you can go into the tile settings and you can display it as different things you can label the tiles individually uh, I'll go into say Andrew presence see I can, I can go in here I can say person I can say mail and call this Andrew's phone Uh, just as an example, and I came in here, Andrew's phone. Um, and then I can go within the tile set settings. Then I can go within the um, panel settings themselves up here. I can arrange the tiles. So if I don't like the order of them, I could switch them all around. I'm not going to waste your time with that. I kind of hurried up and did this, but within each panel, you can actually add different tile sets. So I added all these devices in the what's called home tile set. You can add different tile sets and it'll show up as groups within your browser. Uh, I'm not going to add another one right now. I'll show you an example in just a second. But I'm just going to go ahead and cl click view and this is all the devices we just added. So you got your time. Yes, I know it's really early. Uh, all these different things. Presence. Uh, here's the one that we changed the name, Andrew's phone. And then here's the different thermostats. Uh, right now the heat's set to 67. Here's the Nest Protect. Seeing it's, it says clear down here, nothing to worry about. Mailbox outside, which has the Smart Things multi purpose sensor, sensor that shows the temperature outside. Contact sensors, the back door is closed. Uh, shows for a motion sensor, it's showing that there is no motion in the bedroom, for example, here. Now, um, once you have everything kind of laid out and in the order you want, you can go down here, click down there, and settings. And you can change the theme to these different themes that are preset. You can also change the tile size. So, you know, PC web browser. Those were kind of small, so I'm going to hit large. And you can do these different ones. I'm not going to go through all these, but elements and this S B A L L O Z one, S Bellows, whatever that says, 
is kind of my favorite. The reason I like this one is because it shows you what's on or active or present much easier. Or um, in this case, the mailbox, it's kind of an alert because it's at 15% battery, needs new batteries. Uh, obviously here, it's this is the battery icon, so it's showing 15%. But if I turn something on, if I turn on uh, cabinet lights over here, it changes it to yellow. So if you have a tablet mounted on your wall or something and you're showing action tiles, you can look at it from a glance and see that it's on or off. And also with these cabinet lights I didn't show you before, you can change the color of them right from here. So right up here, cabinet lights color changed. So right now my cabinets are glowing red. So that's pretty cool. Actually I had it off. Now they're glowing red. So yeah, this is a, just, just a quick video for action tiles. Uh, I hope this helped you. Go back to my other one here. I'm going to go to other, a few other panels like this one here that shows rooms made this one called rooms. This is just a few different things in each room. So this is the different tile sets I was talking about. So the kitchen has these four devices in there and it shows you what's on and what's off. And um, I don't know if you saw it down here in our bedroom. This just became active so my wife must be tossing and turning in bed or walking around up there. So, living room, all these different things, hallway, this presence sensor here is actually for the Nest thermostat. It's just saying that someone's home. So yeah, as you saw this, you know, it's real time, so as there's motion, it, it came on and it turns off. And the latent, latency for these things are within, within a second, I would say. It's really fast, really responsive. I want to be doing videos showing you just that in the future, but for now, I'm just on my PC showing how to get this done. So, our bedroom had these different lights, Ashton's room, some lights, motion sensors. The motion sensors control the lights too, by the way. And uh, garage doors down here. And, you know, to open a garage door, just click it. Would you like to open Andrew's garage door? If I said OK. A garage door would open. It's pretty cool stuff. But uh, anyway, that's it for this video. I left a link to in the description to uh, the Smart Things Hub. I also left a link to my last video to give you a little overview about Smart Things and what you need to do to get started. That's it for today. Uh, please subscribe, leave a like, comment, any questions. I will answer them as best I can and I will make a video if it uh, if it makes sense to make a video about your question thank you I will see you in the next one